All right, Coach, you can start us off. All right, thanks. Uh, first of all, um, my family and myself are really excited about being back at Ole Miss and uh, left here uh, 16 years ago and back now. So when we got here the first time, we had a six-year-old, three-year-old, and two-week-old. Now they're 26, 23, and 20. Uh, so but I've been really excited about working with Matt again for the third time. And uh, he is an awesome coach and a super person that I'm really excited about um, helping him with his program. I'm excited about where we're going, where we're headed, um, and uh, very fortunate to be here and honored uh, to be coaching at Ole Miss. Loved my time here before, absolutely loved it, and uh, I know I'll love my time here again, and uh, honored to be here. So I'll take any questions at this time. Yeah, raise your hand, we'll bring the microphone to you. Chuck, we'll start us off. Mike, you hadn't been a coordinator in a while. Is it kind of like riding a bike? Uh, you never forget, really, or yeah, I, you got I, an adjustment to make? Right. I've, uh, I've always been involved on the defensive side of the ball quite a bit. Um, and, uh, you know, I've always been working with the secondary in practice, too. Um, I've always done drills in practice, been involved in practice, sat in a lot of the, most of all the secondary meetings and that type of thing. So I've, I've kept my hand in, in there hard, understanding that um, we would also have different clinics and different things at – Colorado, but I bring in other staffs, defensive staffs, and I would be a part of it. So I feel like I'm pretty much uh, on the cutting edge of that and understand it and, and uh, have been heavily involved in the defensive side of the ball. Mike, you've obviously had, had the opportunity to look at the talent that's on this roster. Uh, just your assessment of it and maybe where that cornerstone is in your rebuilding effort from what you get from your evaluation of the talent already here? Right. Uh, you know, I've watched quite a bit of film uh, on Ole Miss, and I think that they've, uh, you know, I think they've got some good football players, and uh, I'm excited to get, get out there and working with them and seeing their maturity and seeing them work and seeing them do it. So hopefully um, we'll be able to uh, be a, a better and uh, be able to stop people and be able to win football games. You know, we've got guys coming in, too, that will throw in an influx. I think the exciting thing for me, too, is, now that with the full allotment of 85 scholarships, we're gonna have, we have a lot of guys in that are coming in in January um, that will be out there in practice um, that are new. Um, so I think that influx of talent, along with the talent they have here, um, that we'll be able to keep improving and, and um, get better. Uh, I've been told you're a three-four guy. Yeah. Uh, what do you look for in those uh, outside linebackers, and and what? Is it because it's so multiple that you like the three four? Right. Um, well, I, you know, I've been four two five, four three, three four. Um, when I was with the Dallas Cowboys, when I first went there, we were in a four three with Mike Zimmer, um, and uh, we did really well. And then Coach Parcells had always been always been a three four guy, so we switched to the three four after going into our third year. So I saw that whole development of that, how to how they draft to it, how they work it. Did the same thing when I was with the Jets, um, and then. Um, Wanted to be, I like the 3 4 principle uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, number one, all these spread teams, all the fast paced, you're able to clog up the B gaps, make the ball bounce. You can bring edge pressure from everyone. I call the outside backers quarterback disruptors. Not only whether they can come and it messes the offensive line because they don't know who's coming, uh, but also at the same time, they can act like they're coming, they can Hollywood, they can get in passing lanes, they can help in the RPO system. Um, uh, being able to stop that. So I think it's developed. What we've taken is we've taken the pro system. It's exactly the exact same system the Chicago Bears run with Vic Fangio in them, uh, and them uh, and taken that system and developed it to college. So a lot of times we'll play with um, an outside backer that's really a safety type guy because everybody's in three wides and four wides uh, and only have one outside, true outside back on the field at times. But then we can also, I think it envelops and helps you pass rush wise, because when we go four down and that type of thing, those outside backers are really your outside rushers. So we've developed it to fit a 3-4 scheme to fit college football in the wide spread game. But also, the thing that I think it also does as you recruit, you have more bodies that are 6-2 to 6-4, that are 220 to 250, that can play on all your special teams too. And so now you've helped your special teams. And uh, I think that that's going to be big as we keep evolving this. And I'm excited about some of the guys on this team that played last year that played more of an end type that really could play an outside backer spot. 
their body type, their size, their speed, their athleticism. So I'm excited about working with them.